The Senate plans to try one more time today to break the political deadlock that is holding up aid to Ukraine and Israel. As Nicole Killian reports, Republicans insisted on changes in immigration policy, then defeated a plan to do exactly that. The motion is not agreed to. A gut punch to negotiators who spent months crafting the border deal. As Americans are ticked off that this is not resolved and they expect us to get things done. So why don't we do that? My Republican colleagues changed their minds. Turns out they want all talk and no action. Senate Republicans overwhelmingly opposed the $118 billion foreign aid bill that would implement stricter asylum reforms that they demanded. Why not give it a chance? Why not try to tweak it? Do some yeah. amendments. So, so in actual, I think it, it, it could even make things worse. Democratic leaders responded with a new package, removing the border measures but keeping $60 billion for Ukraine, $14 billion for Israel, and $10 billion in humanitarian assistance. Still, after hours of deliberations Wednesday, Republicans were undecided, LeBron, stalling LeBron. action on the floor. The resolution is not adopted. From drama in the Senate to the House, where Republicans plan to move full steam ahead with a second vote to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas after a stinging defeat. Why bring that to the floor if you didn't have the votes? And will you hold another vote to impeach him? Yeah, on impeachment, last night was a setback, but democracy is messy. Mayorkas dismissed the vote. The allegations are baseless. I made that very clear, and I'm focused on the work of the Department of Homeland Security. A White House official tells CBS News the Biden administration has been looking at what potential executive actions it could take at the border for months, but it says it needs Congress to make policy reforms and approve funding to secure the border. Tony? Nicole, thank you very much.